And I want to offer a huge welcome on behalf of the University of Reading to this degree ceremony and the recognition of your hard work and celebration of your achievements. Now, I'm not sure if we've got any South Africans in the congregation today. Sometimes we do. One hand up at the back. Fabulous. Well, you may know of a beautiful Zulu greeting that I think perfectly reflects the tone of this ceremony and the spirit of how I intend to greet each of the graduates as they receive their degrees this morning. The greeting is the word Sawubona, and it means we see you, the whole of your person, we value you, and you are important to us. And it's an invitation to a deep witnessing and presence. It invites us to communication, to explore the possibilities of helping each other. It means we witness your journey, and I think it reflects the next hour of our lives. So I say to you, my friends, Sawabona. Chancellor, Dr. Jeff Taggart will now present Nancy Mudenyo Hunt for the honorary degree of Doctor of Letters. We now welcome Nancy Mudenyo Hunt to the platform. Ladies and gentlemen, in the early 1990s, a young woman from Kenya was working as a cleaner at a school in Lower Early, and each day she had to walk past the University of Reading campus, wondering what it would be like to study there. After her degree in education, Nancy Medenio had come to England from Kenya to be with her sisters. Needing to earn the fees, Nancy also took work with DEFRA and worked on a domestic violence project with Thames Valley Police. By 1999, with a postgraduate qualification, she was working in Reading to train newly promoted sergeants and inspectors in leadership, management and diversity. Meanwhile, in Kenya, in 2000, something happened which would change Nancy's life. Her mother found a baby crying and abandoned in a sugar field. And with her experience in the British police, Nancy made her come with her to the station to sort out the situation. Yet, she says, her accent gave away the fact that she lived abroad. The officer looked at her Levi jeans and said, you have money, you should do it. So to cut a very long story short, this challenge resulted in the foundation of the Nasio Trust in 2001, a charity which focuses on empowerment through education in Western Kenya. The Trust has helped to build daycare centres, a school, and countless sustainable projects that encourage individual empowerment instead of reliance and dependency on aid. When a little boy called Livingston died, while being carried to the nearest hospital 20 kilometers away, Nancy says she was determined to build a medical center. By 2016, the center was up and running and now provides treatment to almost 20,000 patients a year and supports the safe birth and vaccination of 500 children. The trust is also planning to expand to a 60-bed teaching hospital as of today, it employs over 100 staff in the rural community of Musandam, supports over 450 children, and provides many education programs. It also works with Youth Challenge Oxfordshire to provide volunteering experiences for young people from the UK. Nancy says her Christian faith is her compass and rock. She's also proud of how responsive the trust is to local needs, working at grassroots level. Communities trust us that we are there for the long haul, she says. Unsurprisingly, Nancy was named the UK's most inspirational woman at the National Venus Awards in 2015. 
Yet, not content with her achievement, Nancy is also a novelist, and her book, Not So Black and White, details the struggle of a young Kenyan woman living in London. I asked Nancy about the future, and she was pleased to say that children from the first cohort are now grown up and employed in the management team, and one is a qualified clinical officer in the medical centre. The next generation of activists is being prepared. Nancy has certainly fulfilled the wishes of her dying mother, whose only final words to her were, never leave these children. Chancellor, I present Nancy Modenio Hunt for the honorary degree of Doctor of Letters of this university. By the authority of the University of Reading, I admit you to the honorary degree of Doctor of Letters of this university. Congratulations, Nancy.